Go nice and slow, Cassidy. Slow, Cassidy. Slow, Cassidy. Slower. Pull back a little, Cassidy. Slow, 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 slow. Stan, I love that fight. I love that fight. We're going to do that again. Okay? okay? I'm going to support her a little bit. Tighten your belly down. There you go. Press up a little bit. Pull back a little bit more. A little more. A little more. See where that puts the bar? Let's start there instead of trying to find that. Go slow, slow, slow. Press up. Stop. Press up. Slow, slow. Stop. Press up. Slow. Rotate, rotate. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Find it. Find it. Keep it. Keep it. Stan? What do you guys think? Keep your toes down. Can we turn her feet out a little bit so she's more comfortable in that squat? She's, we're, we're seeing a balance issue, right? Yeah. Something's happening where we're like, I, I could keep doing that, but I don't know if it's benefiting the squat. Where should we tell them? So let's think before we just give more cues. Because that's probably one of the things that we've all done, right? Like we see something going wrong and then we throw a lot more cues. What's that going to do to Cassidy? She's going to forget the shoulder. She's, she's, she's also going to become frustrated because she's realizing that what she's doing is not right. And now something else is wrong. I want to just switch her gears all around, all together. I want to give something for this for her to feel. So let's do something similar to the squat therapy, but a little different. Come on over here, guys. <coughs> We're going to squat like this. Instant feedback to whether it's coming away or whether it's rotating. But what she can do is she squats and she can press against it and feel what's happening on the shoulder. And then you can slowly improve where those feet go. Good. Here, press here. Bring your feet back a little bit. Widen them up a little bit. Do you feel the pressure right there? Obviously she's not going to overhead squat like that, right? The bar is way forward. So I have to move her forward. It's squat therapy for the overhead squat. Slow and squat. Slow, 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 butt back. Slow, slow, knees out, knees out, knees out. Harder, 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 harder. Do you feel that, Cassidy? Go ahead and stand. What do I do next? Push her forward a little bit more. Give her a little bit more. Even more than... <laughs> now she's not going I love it. Thank you for that illustration. Tighten that up. Ready, push against the bar. Ready, go slow, 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 knees out. Slow, knees out, knees out harder, 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 harder. Look at that, go ahead and stand. She's close. Farther forward, farther forward. Ah, good. Point your toes out or else it's gonna be painful. Tighten this up. Now this would be reality, right? We're only gonna go like Chris said until we think what, we're gonna slower where we start to see a problem. Go nice and slow. Slow, slow, knees out, slow, slow, stop. Push your butt back a little bit. Knees out, slow, 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 slow. Pull, pull the bar back, slow, slow, slow. Now look what happened again. Go ahead and stand. So we kind of found our limit. So doing this type of work is really important for the athletes to build an understanding of where they should be and to build her flexibility, right? I'm pushing the limit of her flexibility as I do that.